friends. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Poverty Hill Adventures. Today's video is going to be another video in the Tent Camp Journal series. It's been a while uh, since we put out a Tent Camp Journal uh, video. In fact, it's been uh, a little bit of time since I've been back to Tent Camp. And uh, when I got here, I, I found a few things amiss. Before I left, I had uh, secured the flaps on the, on the door quite well. They, uh, they tie together. And there's an inside set of ties and an outside. But when I arrived, the bottom of the tent was open. The rest of the ties were all tied, and the one was actually uh, broken, ripped. Uh, so something uh, got in there, something uh, that did not know how to untie a knot. <laughs> I didn't have much uh, inside, just a cot. Uh, a little wood stove and a chair. Uh, but I uh, noticed that something had chewed a hole in the bottom of the tent, which I'm not too happy about that. And I also noticed uh, we, it's been so rainy that I actually have some sort of a Oh, I don't know if it's a fungus or what <laughs> growing on the inside of the tent. So uh, I'm not too happy about the, <laughs> the hole. The uh, torn uh, strap and uh, the holes in the bottom of the tent. My uh, outdoor kitchen, my dining fly area. Uh, looks like uh, something was visiting here also. I don't know if you can see this or not. But uh, chipmunks, I would, I would guess, uh, feeding on, on some cherries that had fallen from a wild cherry tree. I'm not overly concerned about... Uh, the chipmunks I mean this is their home also and I, I mean I wish they were, would <laughs> uh, if they're gonna stop by the dining fly I wish they'd at least clean up after themselves <laughs> uh, I am a little concerned about the whatever that is in the inside of the tent so um, luckily uh, in my truck I, I always keep a little uh, a little uh, tent a little nylon dome tent and I'm going to set that up uh, uh, for this evening so that I got some place to sleep and uh, probably going to have to take down the uh, canvas one polar uh, to repair those few areas and uh, to give it a good cleaning. But for tonight, this will be home. Well, you can tell that summer is winding down. The hours of daylight are getting shorter and shorter. Um, and back here under the canopy of trees, uh, it's dark by, well, about quarter to eight, it's dark. And uh, over the summer, I did not use the lanterns much, but uh, I'm gonna start uh, using them more and more, so. I'm going to change the, the mantles on these two here. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, that wasn't good. I pulled, the, I pulled the string too early. See if we can fix this back up here. Oh, I'm daydreaming. 
and made a mistake. Well, I guess it probably won't be the first or last time I make a mistake in my life. <laughs> uh, I make them often, and folks are very quick to remind me in the comments <laughs> when I when I make a mistake. Well, looks like we're all set for tonight. This is the lantern that I've been using most of the spring and summer. Old vintage uh, Coleman double mantle. Got, got the big hat on it. Uh, cool old lantern. And uh, I didn't use much uh, fuel at all this uh, spring and summer with the longer days of, you know, sunlight up. So I'm going to top this off. Now that, it, that the days are getting a little shorter. Before, before it gets too dark, I wanted to show uh, something to everybody. Uh, you know, big fan of Victoria Knox Swiss Army Knives, and uh, I carry it. All the time and use it all the time uh, I was going through some stuff the other day and I didn't even realize <laughs> I didn't realize I even had this knife I was going through some knives uh, and I came across this one and for the life of me I can't remember where I picked it up it's used it's uh, Remington's version of a Swiss Army knife and uh, at first I wasn't sure about it but then I started messing around with it and she's a dandy I mean uh, typical Remington quality I mean the blades snap in place it's got the big blade flathead screwdriver a bottle opener Can opener. A little smaller blade. And a all. And a corkscrew. Now I don't know if um, this is the only version that Remington had or if they had like like Victoria Knox if they had different models but uh, it, I really kind of like this knife it's got all uh, all brass springs on it and uh, everything like I said everything just snaps snaps in place I mean it's uh, a nice little knife Oh, I wanted to show it to everybody. <laughs> I was kind of surprised when I when I found it in my uh, box full of knives. So uh, I brought it with me and gonna gonna use it some uh, down here at tent camp. I've said it before in other tent camp journal videos uh, just how important the weather is when you're basically living outdoors in a tent and uh, even though it's still summer you can tell that days are getting shorter and it's it's cooling off uh, tonight it's supposed to get down uh, in uh, mid 40s I believe so uh, I get the chance to try out my new <laughs> Cattaraugus County Trappers uh, Association sweatshirt that I that I bought at the Sportsman's Rendezvous so uh, I, I really hate to see summer go you know I mean today was a nice day I mean it was it was sunny and pleasant but it uh, the high was only Probably in the 
68, maybe 70. And like I said, tonight it's going to get a little chilly. Just two dishes tonight. I owe Elvin an apology. <laughs> I, what I thought was uh, chipmunk or whatever chewing a hole through here uh, wasn't. It uh, the canvas just ripped. It ripped uh, below the tent loop here. Actually, uh, it, in more than one occasion here, I think I have about three of them like this. The canvas just couldn't take it, and I think what happened was with all this uh, wet weather. The canvas, the weave of the canvas just tightened up so much, and I had the tent stake uh, in there pretty good, and they're long tent stakes, and I think it just ripped. So I'm going to take the whole tent down. I'm going to sew these up. The canvas is still good, but I'm going to sew those all up and uh, give it a good cleaning, and we'll have it back up shortly. Looks kind of empty without <laughs> without the tent and without uh, the outdoor kitchen. Do a little uh, practice with the bowl this morning. Try that again. Hit the target and uh, slid off off the back, ricocheted off, and it's that's a little more like it. Found it. Oh, 
that's where we want it right there. There's a lot of uh, archery shoots this time of year. Uh, late August, September, uh, before uh, bow season. And I'm going to try to attend some of those shoots and share it with all of you and uh, maybe meet up with some of my friends and show you some of the local shoots around here. Until next time, everybody. Thank you for watching. Take care. Remember to keep on trucking and believe in yourself even when no one else does.